Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a new toy today to try out. We are going to be doing some tree trimming, actually some tree cutting. We're going to try and take down, I've got about four trees in the backyard. So I went to my local rental store, you know, construction equipment rental company, and I got this Hall Lot uh, 3522 um, electric boom lift, which so far is going to be, I think, really nice to get all these trees cut down. And as you can see, we're not even halfway up, and this thing is very easy to use. It's electric. We're going to take a closer look at this thing. I'll show you some of the controls on this. This really isn't going to be an in-depth how-to, but I just wanted to share with you guys this new toy I got. So I don't have enough room to fall these trees by themselves just where they sit. So that's one of the reasons I got this boom lift, so we can get up high enough to kind of top the trees and um, you know hopefully do this thing safely as you can see I've got my safety harness on um, I've got my steel toe boots on I've got leather gloves it's a little bit chilly a little bit windy out today but um, we're gonna do this as safely as we can just a quick look at the control panel up here on the bucket it's pretty straightforward very self-explanatory obviously you've got your emergency stop fast and low speed now to operate this thing here are the, obviously all the controls up down for each individual component you got left or right then also to operate this you simply hold down the turtle or you hold down the rabbit and then while you're holding down the speed you just push up down whichever way you want to go and you are off to go over on the side of the unit you have the exact same controls the exact same emergency stop this is where your key is you're going to want to turn it to the left to operate it from down below turn it all the way to the right to the bucket symbol and then that way you can operate everything from up in the bucket here are your now one thing i really like about this unit that uh, we have come to come to enjoy is the auto level feature for when you're putting out the outriggers quite simply you push the auto level and then either extend or retract and really whatever ground surface you're on i think within reason it'll get you up and get you level and you'll be on your way back here is where you got your ac plug in you can plug that in charge up the batteries another nice feature of this unit is you've got plugs for your air and water and then also you have an AC outlet up in the bucket so when you're up in the air if you're pressure washing using air tools you have your connections right there at your fingertips and just a couple other components on the safety side of things um, this is a two inch ball hitch and then it also has the safety brake the trailer brake and then also the emergency brake or I guess the parking brake you know you Set it down, set on, and then that thing is not going anywhere. Lift that up to go, and you are on your way. This one has a has a maximum tow speed of 65 miles an hour. Um, it also has, here's the trailer hitch connector for it. And then it also has a safety cable here. If it happens to break free, you've got a safety brake there as well. And then obviously the, the chains to connect it to your trailer hitch. <laughs> All right guys, so we had, in my opinion, a wildly successful weekend with that boom lift. That thing was amazing. I think that made our lives a lot easier, although my back may disagree. But we were able to knock down six trees, two in my yard, two in the neighbor's yard, you know, a mixture of pines and oaks. And my best guess is those things ranged from anywhere between 40 and 60 feet tall. So I think without that boom lift, there would have been no way we would have been able to get those trees down and get them down safely. So, what did you guys come here for? Did you come here for a review of that boom lift? Did you come here to see uh, me fall a tree on the house? Or uh, did you come to see just a simple operation of those controls on that boom lift? I hope you got what you came for. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. If you guys aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you join the channel. 
Um, I've got a lot of other car care and DIY repair videos on the channel, and I try to make other, uh, you know, kind of around the house repair type stuff videos like we did today. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.